All right. Um. Okay. I think hopefully y'all can hear me on this. Um. It seems like the audio is coming out. So let me mute that real quick. On that. Okay. Cool. So hopefully this works. Um. Awesome. Sweet. Cool. The uh. Yeah. I think we've got a nice new desktop. Um. Up here in the stream room. So I I think one of the settings wasn't added or anything like that. So cool. All right. Sweet. Um, so yeah, hey again, what's up y'all? Um, it's Renzo here. I'm gonna be doing some more stuff in FL Studios. Um, I know it's that time of semester again, and uh, I'm pretty tired. So if I don't talk a lot, it's probably because I don't have too much to say. Um, but I will be kind of messing around with this. Um, same goes with like trying to do something solid. I think, I think for today we're just gonna try and mess around. See if we come up with anything, but I don't really have a plan to make a song or anything like that. Um, I just kind of wanted to mess around with some settings I found the other day. So yeah, so cool. Um, to get started, I think what I wanted to kind of take a look at today and explore was I know for the past couple of times we've kind of been looking at different sounds you can make and how to edit them. But today I think it would be really cool. I found out you could add effects to different instruments. So if we go up here, um, I'm just going to add, uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to add a guitar, um, just for the easiest one. I I'll do this with a, a piano, because I want to, but um, <laughs> thank you. We'll see what I can come up with, but yeah. So hopefully y'all can hear this. Um, let, me, let me adjust the desktop audio so it's not too loud, or the mic's overpowering it, but... Okay, cool. All right, um, so yeah, so let's see, so you have it up here, and what you could do is you could assign it to a new instrument track, we we'll go into the mixer, um, and it'll put it here. And what you can do is go to the right, and they have all these slots. And you can actually add, um, uh, like, effects and reverbs and um, pedals and stuff, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to mess around with this. Um, you can... So yeah, so we got a little distortion, distorter there. It's pretty fun to mess around with. Which were there were some pedals up here and I'm trying to find them. Was it nope, that was that was one that we just had. Um oh shoot. Um I forgot how to reset this. Uh replace, here we go. Okay, cool. Um Was it the hardcore? Yeah, here it is. Okay, cool. So yeah, you can actually add pedals um to your guitars on here which is cool totally cheating um if if you know if, if i was a real musician i'd probably want to get a guitar and get one of these but if you don't want to you know if you just want to kind of mess around and make stuff then this is awesome because now you have like all these pedals so we'll start off with the regular one desktop audio for a second there okay so cool uh yeah you could you could make these really loud um so there it is there really turn the distortion pedal on yeah sounds cool so you can get some fuzzy
Thank you. Okay, hopefully now y'all can hear me well over the music. Um, it is kind of loud. Uh, like I, yeah, like I said, the, these pedals kind of up the volume and. This is the demo, so uh, it'll it'll go quiet once in a while. And I lost the mouse. Here it is. Oh no, where is the mouse? Here it is. Okay, cool. Is that a compressor, maybe. One cool thing about this too is you can use it to kind of see what they do. So. Alright, um, <laughs> I like fuzz and I could just do this. Uh, but I don't I don't think that's nice on y'all's ears, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off from doing that. Um but I do like this kind of shoegazy uh this shoegazy thing. Yeah, university Twitch stream here at NC State. Um I'm just uh, messing around here on uh, FL Studios, so welcome. This does. I'm gonna see real quick. Um, Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I have a MIDI keyboard. Um, you might be able to hear like the keys clacking. Here, hold up. Gonna... Uh, yeah, y'all might be able to hear the keys clacking in the background. Um, uh, that's because uh, this is a nice keyboard and it has a good, um, oh, what's what's the word called? Uh, like when you press down the, the key, like the response of it, how hard it pushes down. This one's like much harder than what I'm used to. So like my fingers aren't as strong, so I'm having to like push down really hard. So you don't kind of hear like the clacking in the background. But um, I'm gonna record something just to. I might delete it after a while, but um, just to kind of mess around with. Um, oh, cool. That's good. Okay, that's good to know. I and in, uh, last week or two weeks ago, I definitely could hear them. So um, I'm gonna record something. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but for the past. For a while every time i've tried to record y'all can't hear it when it records because i have to switch it so that's what's probably going to happen um all right um it's picking up uh, on the microphone uh 
which is kind of cool. Um, and, and I'll let y'all see it in a second, but it is kind of going haywire because turns out you can put these pedals onto the microphone and I'll let y'all hear what it sounds like. You can kind of hear me talking. So yeah, um, we're not going to do that. Give me a second here. I need to figure out how to, uh, kill the, kill the bike. Um... To Google something. Um, give me one second here. Sorry. Okay, so it's apparently in this mixer. Um, it is picking up the mic from somewhere. Yep, it's still picking me up. It's still picking me up. It's still, yep, still picking me up. Okay, one second. Um, do, 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 do. So interesting. Uh, let me let me try something. All right, let's see here. Um, hopefully it picks. Hopefully it doesn't. Okay. Oh. Cool. I got it. Sweet. Okay.
Yeah, sorry. I turned off my bike. Um, it was picking up a lot. It was like picking up a lot of noise. Um, I'm trying to mess with the settings because when I still talk, it sounds like this. Um, right here. Yeah, it's, it's like, like picking pick it, it up on, on the, the this, this thing right here. This, this has, has got to, yeah, yeah, okay. So it's linked to the mic, mic which, which we don't want. want. Mm. Sorry, I'll turn that off. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Um, okay, um, let's see. Oh, here we go. It's good. I think I found it. Let's see if this works. I have to go into the computer so I sound. Um, Okay. Um. Studios. All right. Let's see. No. So I don't want the input to be this. So I'm just gonna change it to that. Um. So now let's see what happens. Hopefully this works. Um. Desktop. We don't want that. Um, it is still working. Okay. We're still picking it up. Um, it is still picking it up. How do you? I wonder how you like kill this. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, I, th I think I figured it out. Um, try and see. Oh, shoot. I can still hear it.
I'm still trying to do this. Uh. So it can hear me here, and that doesn't do anything. Okay. Um. Oh, here we go. Oh, I can't use none. <sighs> okay. Um, it's just not gonna let me talk. Oh, this one kind of picks me up still. Um. I'm gonna try and. I don't know. Maybe this will work. It's like not bad. Um, let's try and record and see what happens. This one isn't working. Oh, it's because it's off. Wait, what? There it goes again. Thank you. 
<laughs> See, I still don't like that it's picking up my voice. It's really annoying. Um... Okay, now it's freaking out. Um, Alright, sorry, restarting it. Um, it's being annoying. It's the only thing I know how to do. Cool. Okay. Well, let's start from the beginning. It's gonna pick me up. Okay. Um. Honestly, not too long. Um. I kind of just picked it up this semester, which is why uh, you can uh, <laughs> some of some of the some of the settings are lost to me. Um. Just from like lack of unfamiliarity. All right. So. Okay. We had this one. Turn the distortion up a bit. Yeah, okay. And hardcore one. Google for a bit. This is. I just need to figure out why the.
Sorry, I had to turn my mic off again because it was, you can see it's kind of like messing with this. Okay, appear according to the internet, um, you're supposed to turn this off and it'll get rid of the microphone, but this is actually turning off the instrument and not the microphone. So. Okay. Cool, it's not picking up my, my microphone now, so I hope it doesn't at all. Like, oh man. Okay, uh, I need to do some more Googling, I'm sorry.
Okay. Oh. It's still not I'm gonna do something kind of weird. Yeah, kind of weird. Oh, what? They've got a... Ooh. I can scratch stuff. Huh. I wonder how you input... Oh, I see. Um, hmm. I wonder if there's any... Hold up. Oh, wait. I can't. Um, let me see. I wonder if there's any, like, SOGs or anything. In here. Probably not. Cool, well, there is a vinyl scratcher if you, if you can, you know, put, uh, put different, oops, put different, like, music in there, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't want that. Uh, replace. Let's see. Let's do more reverb. 
that is not what we want. Okay. Okay, but I'm, I'm mm, hmm. Alright, let's see what, what, what we can mess up with this thing right here. Um...
It's too loud. Um, hmm. All right, I'm gonna try and go back and re-record that with the volume, the master volume down, so that it doesn't do this. Oh, interesting. So put this one. Down. What? Okay, hold up one second. All right, low key, I might just unplug the mic every time I record. Um, <laughs> cause uh, you know uh, that's the easiest way to do it, in all honesty. Um, instead of trying to sit here and mess around with all the settings, but we shall see. Let's get back to where we were with this thing. So we're gonna link this to an instrument track. It's gonna go five. We're gonna add. Let's see. I don't know. What is a soft clipper? Thank you. Let's see if it'll okay. I'm gonna do this again. I'm I'm about to just unplug the microphone so uh so it doesn't record it on here. Um oh yeah, this it um <clears throat> yeah, it's cool. All these effects can you can make it really crunchy and fuzzy. I think the 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 key is just to not go overboard, um, which I might be doing here. Oh, I'm also going to turn this down because it's really loud. Alright, let's let's record this. I'm going to use this as a drum track, actually. Um, just in the background. So, I'm going to unplug the microphone. I'm sorry if y'all can't hear me. kind of screwed up um i don't know if y'all can hear but it's still poking up my voice and putting them putting them through these filters uh the problem is that like for some reason the microphone is being routed 
into this mixer track right here and because for the inputs for this ASIO stereo input it's like picking up the microphone along with it and I just for some reason I can't find where you adjust the ASIO input outputs on the computer it actually doesn't let you deselect a microphone input for some of these things like you have to select one and I think this sound is coming from the head from the audio from my headphones um so yeah I think let me see if I could I may actually deselect my headphones um but yeah that's it so even when I unplug the two microphones it still picked it up so oh uh, yeah also I turned this down and it still recorded it really loudly oh so I'm gonna retry that and just see Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see, but my master here. Oh, I see what's wrong. This this one needs to go down. Okay, that's why. This is like pure like noise here. We we don't, we don't want that. Um, I mean like we kind of do, but not you know not not to this extreme. Um, so I'm gonna re-record this. Uh, keep the master down so it doesn't. Um, so you can kind of use it as a background track. Um, so yeah, all right. Maybe a little bit louder. All right, let's see what this sounds like. Alright, I'm messing around. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to put four distortion. If I put 
four distortions on there, I'm not even like hitting the keyboard and Yeah, we're not doing that. Um <laughs> Uh, da, 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 um, yeah, we're not. We're, I was, I was kind of joking. Um, ooh, oh, they have, oh, they have reverb on here. Cool. I'm on another reverb. See what it does. Um, let's see. Um. I'm messing around at this point. Um, uh, what I'm doing is pitching it up so it's. Uh okay, 
I like that. I'm gonna record it. Um, cause that sounds cool. So. Okay, I kind of like this this one. That like part, I like it. Um, I don't know. So, I, I th I'm going overboard with the fuzz. Um, I <laughs> I haven't really had the. I didn't know you could do this, so I'm like out here. I'm like, all right, I just want to fuzz it up all the way, make it really crunchy and noisy. Um, and I I need to be aware of my audience and not go too overboard. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to keep messing around with some of these, um, I'm going to quiet this for a second, throw in a, let's, uh, I, I like this flex one just because it has some instruments on it, um, what was that good for, uh, guitar, let's see, we already had that one, let me see. I kind of like how muted that is right there, so let's assign it to a new track right there. Cool. All right, let's, um, I, okay, let's, let's throw in. Um, let's, what is delay blank? Let's see what that does. Ah. Uh. Okay, this is fun to mess around with. Um, I, it's kind of hard to see what I was doing, but like, if you 
you know, if I'm gonna play one note and y'all can or one chord. So yeah, it just like delays it. Um so it's kinda cool is that uh Ah I, I You're right, nice. Um so yeah. Um but yeah this this can delay it so you could play in between the delays and kinda like you know and keep it going. Problem is you gotta time it right, because if you mess it up, it kind of gets muddy. Yeah, this is, it's super cool. Um, I'm pretty sure you could like do it with other stuff too, but like, it's just kind of fun. Oh yeah, seeing people play with a loop pedal is so cool. I like, I honestly, uh, kind of messing with this is maybe wonder how they work because if you record something, you know, I, I don't know how good you have to be with like counting, um, cause it's going to be a tiny bit over or under. And if you try and loop that on here by like copying and dragging them, it like leaves a small space or it'll like pick up on your miscount. So like, I don't know with those loopers if they like automatically um, account for that or they, you know, when you're playing them, you just like have to make sure you're on the ball with uh, with like your time and counting. But yeah, I don't know. Those things are really cool. Um, there's some really cool artists out there that do some fun stuff with it. But uh, yeah, you can like modulate this. Let me see. Yeah, the inbuilt metronome is nice. <laughs> uh, the the reason why I don't use it on here is because uh, it'll pick up the metronome when I'm recording, and for some reason I was never able to like go through the mixer settings and like unrecord it. Um, but I know it's something you can do. You know, you can like so it'll, it'll have it up there. see let me see what else is on here um i'm gonna turn this delay off i think it's kind of cool but it'll it'll like get in the way of like other ones so yeah we've already used these two i'm gonna see what this fast distortion is oh i like that's crunchy i like that that one's too much Um, <laughs> I I really like the crunchiness. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it, but uh, uh, it was really funny. I uh, I was at an outdoor uh show or something um the other weekend, and the uh th they had like a bass guitarist, um, an acoustic guitarist, and a guy in a MIDI keyboard. And it was really funny because the guy in the keyboard was like switching between instruments, and he w people were like losing their minds because. They thought some of the other gu guitarists were like playing, you know, playing really fast, but it was this the guy that keyboarded just sitting there like uh, <laughs> playing, playing guitar to MIDI keyboard. It was really funny to watch. Uh, but yeah, I like this uh, fruity fast. Sorry, it just reminded me of that because it was like they had a crunchy kind of setting. But. One other cool thing too is that you could notice the waves are like more you can kind of see the waveform kind of start off a square but ooh, uh i'm interested to hear this fun fact a real uh, interesting is it is it played on a midi keyboard Ah, 
interesting. I know, uh, what song was it? Um, there's a really famous song that they like to play at weddings. Um, I think it's by The Who, but it's got a really famous, like, uh, like keyboard beginning, and I think they actually just, like, made their own MIDI keyboard that when they hit the notes, it just, like, basically did what the delay did and just, like, played it really fast. Um, so it kind of, you think that it's, like, but, like, it's actually they just hit one note and it's going up and down. Um, I, I need, I forget the name of the, the song. I, I haven't listened to, ah, yep, that's it. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, they made some custom keyboard or something for that. I, I don't really know the, the details of the story, but uh, but yeah, I remember like being little and like wanting to learn how to play it, and I learned that, and it was kind of like a kind of a disappointment because I was like, oh man, you know, I, I would have to build my own custom thing. But uh, good song, yeah, it's it's a good song. Uh, all right. Cool. <laughs> I like this. I'm going to keep it. Uh, let me see what else I have up here. Um, here we go. Distortion. Oh, this is Clipper. Okay. Some of these are, like, really cool. I, I just, like, I, I think that they're, you know, if you're really into, like, messing with the sounds, and especially, like, for using beats and things, um, you can get into actual details of like cutting down certain parts of the sound and stuff like that. Um, but I, uh, I'm just kind of messing around right now, so you know we don't we don't really need to go into that that much detail. Um, I didn't really like I said at the beginning. Uh, I was just kind of to see show you all what Fruity Loops offers in that regards. Um, I don't really have a song that I wish that uh, that I have to play. All right, let's see what this does. Um, okay, here, one second. All right. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, cool. Uh, the violin solo is pretty awesome in that song. But, um. All right. Let's let's see what this uh fruity squeeze thing is. Let me turn off these. Sorry. Let's see. Yeah, see, this is a, probably another one of the... Yeah, it's just filled... Oh, wait, is this even on? I will say, uh, what's cool with a lot of these that I wish they... And they probably do. Um, they wish they had an instrument for was like... Or effects is like, when you switch them... Like that sound. Kind of like that modulation. Um, you know... It's fun to mess around with, and they have definitely have something on there. I just don't know where it is. But, uh, you can actually... I've said this before. I don't know how to do it. Um, no, I probably won't do it until we have a camera in here so you can look at the keyboard. But you can actually map parts of your MIDI keyboard or your, like, actual keyboard to um, effects and things in here. So you can, like, actually have a knob 
that you could sit there and kind of like turn. Um, the only knob I have on this one is a pitch one, so so I could just change the pitch, which is which is pretty fun. Um, but yeah, this one's this one's pretty uh, pretty pretty low. Uh, what's maximus? That sounds cool. Doesn't seem to be doing that much. Um, hmm. What are all these things saying? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, okay. This would be cool to make like spacey sounds. Um, uh, yeah, that, I don't, yeah, this is, this is cool. I like, part of me just wants to have like a spacey sound. Um, and part of me just wants like a, uh, a fuzzy sound. It's kind of hard to mix them. Cause like, I found that every time you have like really fuzzy stuff, it like really overpowers like this. So you would have to like make this really loud and then the fuzzy thing low, which actually, I want to record a track and see what that sounds like. I'm going to just get rid of these. Um, these are kind of just to mess around with. So it will probably record my voice again. So I apologize for the really bad distortion and overlay in here. But let's see. Oh, wait, do I? Is it just the. Let's see. Ah. Cool. I'm going to turn this all the way up. So we have that. And then. Oh hey, you can add fuzz here anyway. There's some crunch, sorry. But uh I just wanna test some combinations of sounds here, so let us see. Um Today, it's like doing this thing where it's just like straight up sound, um, and I have to kind of, you know, um, do that so that it doesn't like freak out on me. Uh, and it's not too overbearing, but that's okay. Okay, let's, let's see what this sounds like. Um, oh, oops, I recorded the wrong thing. My bad. Um, no wonder it was like that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Delete that. Yep, that's what I want. Okay, try this again.
all right i think i would call it a day with that um we just uh yeah kind of messed around with these effects um kind of showed y'all what different ones to do and, or you can use and which ones not to use and what will sound muddled um i'm sorry my audio was kind of messed up the whole time especially when listening uh i like I mentioned earlier, the the microphone was routed in here somewhere that I can't find out how, um, and I didn't want to waste too much time troubleshooting it. But um, but yeah, um, yeah. So with that, we do streams all throughout the week. Um, I don't know. We're probably not gonna have ones on Thanksgiving, but um, other than that, we're usually here. And uh, so yeah, definitely check in. There's uh, people using like, Blender. There's people doing playing games. Um, people making beats us uh, so there's a lot of cool stuff so please check the website to stay updated on that and um yeah i hope everybody has a good holiday weekend and um that y'all are rested and uh prepared for uh the fun time that is exam season so with that um i wish you all a good rest of the day and i'll see you later